Grade 3 Math, Lesson 22. A tally table or a frequency table. A tally table or a frequency table is a chart to help count an amount. A tally mark is just a one like that. So when you count things, you say, I'm going to count every red car that drives by my house. I see one drive by. And then you wait a little while and say, oh, there's another one. So you put a tally mark. Oh, there's another one. So there's three tally marks. If you see another one, you can put another tally mark. And when it gets to five, you cross them like that. Then, when you've got a bunch of these, you count them by skip counting fives. Let's look at this tally table. There's a classroom, and they're going to have a party. And the teacher said, you can have vanilla or chocolate ice cream. You have to tell me which one you want. Well, some of the children wanted vanilla and some wanted chocolate, so the teacher counted. She said, whoever wants vanilla, please raise your hand. So she counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine children raised their hand for vanilla. Nine. When she counted chocolate, she counted all the hands that were raised and she counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14 kids wanted chocolate, okay? So, if we were to look at these questions, how many students wanted vanilla? How many students wanted vanilla? Nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many students want vanilla? Nine. How many want chocolate? Five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 of them wanted chocolate. How many more want chocolate than vanilla? What's the difference between the kids who want chocolate and the kids who want vanilla? Well, there's 14 chocolates and 9 vanillas. What's the difference between them? Can you see it right off? There's 4 tally marks here and 4 tally marks here. There's one group of five here and one group of five here, and then this one's all by itself. So right away you can see that it's five. Or we could count it and do 14 take away nine. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep, five. There's a difference of five. There's five more kids that want chocolate than vanilla. Let's look at this tally table. They're also gonna have pizza. And the teacher says, who wants plain cheese? She counts the hands that are raised and she counts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 children want plain cheese pizza. How many students want plain cheese? 12. How many wanted pepperoni? Well, Let's look at the pepperonis. 5, 10, and one more is 11. 11 children wanted pepperoni. So we're going to put that in the answers, in the answer line. How many more want cheese than pepperoni? 12 want cheese, 11 want pepperoni. How many more want cheese than pepperoni? Just one, 11, 12. How many students are there in the class? Well, in this tally table, there were nine students voting for vanilla and 14 voting for chocolate. How many is that in all? What's 14 plus nine? Nine and four is 13, carry the one. One and one is two, 23. How many voted for the cheese and pepperoni pizzas? 12 and 11. If you add 12 and 11, 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 and 1 is 2, that's 23 votes. So guess what? 23 children voted for vanilla and chocolate, and 23 children voted for cheese and pepperoni. I would say there's 23 children in the classroom, right? So, next time you're doing something where you need to count, and there's a lot of them, you can use tally marks. Tally marks. 
they're little ones, little slashes like this. And when you get to five, you cross it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. That way, when you need to count them, you skip count by fives and you can go really fast. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-two. Skip counting tally marks in a frequency table or a tally table. Try it sometime. It's actually kind of fun to count things that way. See you next video.